Hi, welcome to Centerville Reports Today. I'm Maureen Russell Hodson. We always say the Centerville Library has a million stories to tell. Well, guess what? They now have a million stories to sell, or almost that many, at the annual Friends of the Library book sale. And here to tell us more, we have Peter Adams, who is the president of the Friends organization and also the chair of the book sale, and Mary Louise Beeman, who is the chair of the 5K race, because we're also going to talk about that a little bit later. So thank you both for being here. Thanks for having us. Repeat Thanks. performance, <laughs> because you all were here last year talking about these events, and obviously sure. they went so well that um, you're going to repeat mm -hmm. again this year. So let's first talk about the, the book sale. And we have just a small <laughs> sample, right, Peter, of some of the Very books small. that you'll yeah. have. but. Yeah, we've got, we'll have, um, I would estimate about 12,000 books. Okay, um, wait a minute. 12,000 <laughs> books. books. Uh, another 1,500 DVDs, um, CDs, books on CD, um, you know, just a, a wide variety of books and media and stuff. We wow. have a lot. And the, the exciting thing for me this year is that, um, first off, we have more than I think we've ever had, but we also have more donations. And... Uh, I think we're getting the word out now that, that you can take your books to the library and donate them, and then they will in turn be, be given over to us for the sale. And so we're running now, I'd say 50% of the books in the sale are donations, as opposed to discards from the library. So there's some, if yeah. you look at, look at this, this is a, a biography of Roosevelt. Maureen over there has. Yeah, these uh, are yeah, just the some that you just pulled of, up. I just pulled them up, wow. yeah. And they're incredible. They look brand new. Um, like I say, they were donated. This is a first edition Hemingway of um, I'm trying to remember which one. It's a movable feast, feast yeah. Right? And it's a first edition, and over here we have a, an autobiography of Joe Nuxall, also a first edition. But the fun thing about that is that it was autographed by Joe Nuxall himself so, uh, before right he died. There. Yeah, so it's How about that? yeah, it's kind of a kick. So we yeah. have a we have a lot of really <laughs> nice, unusual things, and a uh, some of the some of the donated books we've got this year are just beautiful art books and history books and uh, I'm talking really displayable coffee table displayable books well, which, you these know all would look great well, I know. on display <laughs> wouldn't they yeah so it's it's pretty exciting so um, tell us the friends is a support organization yeah. for um, the library and right? that's that's important that people understand that is that when we say the library is having a sale the library is not having a sale right we're um, a 5013c charitable organization and our our mission, our entire mission is to support the library. And uh, about 95% of the money that we raise actually goes to the library. The rest of it is minor administrative costs. And then we sponsor a variety of events that both raise money, but also get the word out about the library to promote the library with the community and uh, sort, of, sort of get the message out that this is what the library does and, and you should be involved with it. And, and if you haven't yeah. been to the library lately, wow, are mm -hmm. you missing something. So first of yeah. all, make that first on your list. <laughs> Check out the Woodburn Library on Far Hills Avenue or the Centerville mm -hmm. Library on West Spring Valley Road because first of all, it's free. Which, and you can do so many things with your family throughout yeah. all the events and activities. So make sure you stop by there. But um, we want you to come to the book sale and you have three days, right? Mm -hmm. And the kickoff is gonna be on Thursday, October 15th, mm -hmm. five to nine, but there's a special <laughs> Membership only here, yeah. right? You have to be a member of the Friends, and we have a, a multi-tiered membership. Um, if you're a resident of Centerville, Washington Township, it's $5 to join. Um, but there's also what we call an author circle membership. It's $20, and you receive a $5 coupon to, for the book sale so that you have $5 off right away. And then there, there are different levels for business and, and other memberships. But basically for $5, you can get in for that preview night. Nobody is, else has seen the stuff. It's, it's right there. It's, it's and it's at the Centerville fresh. Library. It's the Centerville Library, correct, and at five, 5 to 9 on Thursday. And when you walk in, you're going to go immediately to the left, right? To the left, right? to the program to room. To the program yep. room, okay. Yep. Yep. And so you were saying 12,000 books. There's mm -hmm. going to be videos and DVDs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, just, just a, a real assortment of, but some really high, again, yeah. high quality things. Um, Friday, it's open to the public, and that's from 10 o'clock to 6 o'clock. And then okay, Saturday. Okay, so that's during library hours. During though, library okay. hours. Saturday, it's from 10 o'clock to 5 o'clock, and that's an all day bag sale. So you can fill a Kroger paper bag with all the books that you want for $5. And uh, you can put a lot of wow, books into sure a can, paper bag for now, $5. Some of yeah. Books like these will not be for yeah, the sale, right? We have what we call a Better Books and Collectible Room. Okay. And these, these books all come from the Better Book Room. 
And uh, we'll have, there are probably close to a thousand books in the Better Book Room. Yeah, That's we, we just, we have some wonderful donations. I encourage people, <laughs> yeah. if you have books you're not using, if you're cleaning out your parents' house, donate those books to the library. They'll find a good home. Some of them will go into the library. The rest of them will take care of them. And, uh, you know, everybody benefits from that. So I really encourage people to donate. Now, do you know the, the procedure for donating books? Would you just bring a box mm -hmm. over? Yeah. Okay, just take them. Take it to the front desk okay. at either library at Centerville or Washington Township. They'll, if you want, they'll give you a tax uh, receipt so you can uh, write it off on your on your taxes. It's a charitable uh, contribution. And... Uh, you know, we just really encourage people to do that. Yeah, because yeah. you can see your books as part of the mm -hmm. sale. Again, it's the 15th, 16th, and 17th during library hours. But if you want to get in on the sneak preview for Thursday night, mm -hmm. there's um, a $5, really, membership. But it, it's like... It goes to the library and it's nominal. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's nothing. But let's say you like to run and read. <laughs> can people run and read? Could. You probably could. But there's also a 5K run coming up. So tell us about that. So this is our third annual third um, okay. 5k race and it is at the Centerville Library. We start behind the library. Uh, we encourage walkers and runners and um, families. It's a great event. We lucked out last year. We had a beautiful fall afternoon. It was. It's at two o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. Um, we, it's November 1st, right? November so 1st. We have that date down yes. Now. And if you register by October 19th, we guarantee a shirt. Which is and a nice quality shirt. It is. It's I what we say. call yeah. a technical shirt. So it's a good runner shirt, long sleeve. And this year, this is going to be our color, the bright orange. So, um, which come is on the out. color for the year? Did you it, know this it, is the fall color? I did to be not orange. know, yeah. but boy, well, it's now how we knew. <laughs> yeah. um, so that's by October nineteenth. If you register, that's our early registration. Um, but if you can't make that decision that quickly, sometimes we have shirts. Uh, but in any event, you can run the race. We'll have packet pickup and pre-registration in the library, Centerville Library, on Thursday the 29th from 6 to 8 and Friday the 30th from 10 in the morning to 1 p.m. Or race day, uh, come on out. We don't turn anyone away. And like I said, it's been a great event, yeah. very family friendly. We've got lots of great sponsors. We have in-kind sponsorship from City Barbecue, Whole Foods, Kroger, uh, Jewelry Creations by Pam, our, um, our awards are um, going to come from her. Nice. And then we've got lots of other sponsors uh, who have come out to support this race. And so we're really thrilled to um, be able to, again, raise money for the friends so that we can, in turn, uh, support our local library. And so registration, if you're going to day of, you need to be there by 1230. 1230 is a good idea. Otherwise, if you're, if you're popping in the library, we have forms there in the okay. library. Or you can go to www.speedyfeet.com, and there is uh, registration online as well. You'll find our race listed among all their races. So the friends are doing all of these <laughs> events. For, and you've got another one that we wanted to promote, City Barbecue. Uh, mm -hmm. City Barbecue, that's the Sunday or the Monday after the book sale. Okay. And we'll have these flyers there because you do have to have a flyer. Right, we'll that's have a these takeover, flyers so you available. Can... It's a takeover at City Barbecue right here in Centerville. Um, so pick up a flyer, go on in, and they will make a donation to the friends uh, for everyone that brings mm -hmm. a flyer. So you might be thinking, why are they raising all these funds? Because you all do so many good things yep. to support the library. Give us an idea of where these funds are, are going. Um, a lot. Well, first, let me say that uh, we've, we've, we've been in existence for just a little over four years now. And this year, we're going to top $100,000 that we have given back. Yeah, wow. it's, it, we're, we're pretty excited. That's yeah. a, it's a fair amount of money. Um, We've almost adopted the summer reading program so that a lot of the prizes and okay. a lot of the promotional yeah. stuff from the summer reading program we cover. Um, we cover tablets and, you know, for, for the reference librarians to use and training people. Um, we've done some, some decorative things around the library in terms of um, deca decals and new paint and, you know, sprucing it up. Um, I, I'm not sure if you guys have a list of projects <laughs> yeah the, the things we've done because <laughs> it's, it's a yeah it's, it's a, it, we have it on the on the graphic there for the it's uh, so many there we go i mean yeah. that's just a unbelievable that's a new one yeah and, and that's a new one we've um, eat, every six months we update what we've uh, what we've done because that's incredible yeah the library will come back to us the staff and they will make specific requests so they'll say that we really think we need this or this and we'll 
talk with them about it, make sure that we think that's, that it's a good idea, and then we fund those, you know, the, return the money to them to fund those projects. So like I say, uh, more than $100,000 has gone back to the library in direct support of, of uh, their activities. And so, so everybody loves going to the library, mm -hmm. love all of the services, and you probably don't even realize that this friends group is yes. really behind the scenes helping to fundraise, but these events are good ways that you can go to help support the library. So we've got the, mm -hmm. the book sale, which again, give us a quick, we've got it on yeah. October 15th. Mm -hmm. The 15th and the 16th, 17th, 5 to 9 on the 15th, um, 10 to 6 on the 17th, and 10 to 5 on the 18th, and that's a, book, a bag sale That's the bag day. sale, but really yeah. if you want to get the prime pickings, you want to be there yeah, on you Thursday, want to be there early. right? Yeah. Okay, and yeah. then the following Monday, Monday mm -hmm. is the, the takeover, takeover at City Barbecue. Yeah. All day, but for whenever they're mm -hmm. open, as long as you have one of these and handy And Mary Louise, flyers. can you pick that up at the li either library? Yes. yes. Okay, yes, we, we can. Have those City and we'll have them, we'll be handing them out yeah. at the book sale as well. Oh, yeah. I think it's in your bag, too, yes. isn't it? Yes, okay. it is. Throw them in the bag. <laughs> okay. Exactly. You've been to the website. Okay, and then um, you've got the 5K. The race on November 1st, mm -hmm. and then just a preview for next spring um, yeah. or late winter, uh, we're going to do, if anybody remembers the Tasting with Friends, we're going to do another one of those out at Yankee Trace. So watch for that mm -hmm. to be on our list of activities, yeah. and that's going to be really we'll neat. We'll have 20 local authors, and you'll have an opportunity yeah. to interact with with those authors and then nosh and hors d'oeuvres and wine and cheese. It's a, it's a nice, uh, it sounds very like a nice, nice event. Evening. I, I want to get in that um, little book, for little free oh, library yes, real quickly because that's something that you yeah. also, also support. This was a, yeah, it was a joint project with the, the Park Service and um, Patrick Hansford, who's an architect here in Centerville and, and the Friends. And um, I don't know if people know about the little free library um, movement. It started in Wisconsin. Basically, you can you can put up a box in your front yard, and then stock it with books and little sign on it that says "Take a book, return a book," and it's been fan. It's nice. there are more yeah. than I, I don't know more than two thousand little free libraries around the country now, um, where where people are just putting books in and other people, you know. It so it's your own book that you might want to share with somebody. Yep, okay. and uh, and then people return books. It's beautiful. So the the park district wanted to start this. We have installed one in Schoolhouse Park and it has been a phenomenal success, phenomenal. Patrick Hansford and his group did a beautiful job as far as, as um, designing it and then they got some local masons to actually build it and you know put it together. It's beautiful. Nice. They're putting one in in Iron Horse Park now. And oh, okay. I, I encourage so there'll be a second location. There'll be a second location. <laughs> And it, it matches the, the park, so it's a schoolhouse box and schoolhouse park. It'll be a railroad train and, uh, you know, a locomotive. And I, it, they're really, really they're cute. innovative, but people love them. They just love them. I mean, you see the kids taking books out and putting them back. So we stock them. Patrick designs them. The Park Service maintains them. It's a, it's a so nice So look for that project. right now at Schoolhouse Park, but yep. soon to come at Iron Horse. Yep. All right. And again, we will hope to see you this weekend at the Centerville Library. Starts Thursday night. All kinds of activities, a good place to go, really the best place to go would be the library website, mm -hmm. wclibrary.info. And real quickly, if somebody wants to join the Friends, mm -hmm. is talking to some of you at the book sale mm -hmm. a, sure. a good yep. time to get there'll some be a There'll be a membership desk as you walk in the library, and you can get all the information on membership from them. Um, or talk to one of the board members. We'll have, you know. We well, have that up. shirt on. You'll be easy to <laughs> I find. I have the shirt right? on. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Look for the friend shirt. Well, thank you both for sharing this information. Thank We're you. looking forward to always support the library. Uh, for more information, you can call the City of Centerville at 433-7151. You can also visit our website, which is centervilleohio.gov. And don't forget, we're on Facebook. And if you want to get more information about the library, as we said, the library website is a great place to get not only information about this, but resources, you name it, they've got it on that website. So we'll look forward to seeing you. The book sale, 5K, city barbecue, <laughs> and then come March at the Taste mm -hmm. with the friends. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.